Hello everyone, Mike Rempel here from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. In the past, I've done a couple tutorials showing you how you can select photos from a drop-down list. And this can be very popular when used in catalogs or proposals or things like that. In those, those were designed, or my instructions were designed to be used for Excel 2010 or 2013. But there's a slight variation that you need to make to that if you're using Excel 2007. So this video focuses on creating this process, but using Excel 2007. I'll list below links to the 2010 and 2013 tutorials that show how to do this in those programs. But let's take a look and see how we can do this using Excel 2007. So here I have four different photo images, one of grapes, wine glasses, a wine glass with a sun, and a wine heart is what I'm calling it. And I have those names here, grape, glass, sun, and heart. And on my catalog tab, there's an area here I want to create a drop-down list with those names in them, grapes, glass, sun, and heart. And whichever one I choose, I want this image to pop up right here next to it. Now this could be useful in maybe proposals when you want to show an, an example of what someone is purchasing or maybe a catalog if they choose this item a picture can pop up etc. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to highlight a wine the heading there and the four names below and I'm going to go to my formula tab and create from selection and I'll have top row selected there I'll say OK and now as you can see if I highlight this they're called wine so now I can go over to my catalog tab and in cell C2 I'm going to go up to data data validation I'm going to select list and say equals wine and hit enter so now my drop down here has those names, grapes, glass, sun, and heart, and I can choose any of those from there. The next thing I want to do is I want to name these cells here, B2, 3, 4, and 5, with these names, grape, glasses, sun, and heart. Now notice my picture, the image I have here, has to be totally contained within the cell. It cannot be hanging over like that, or it cannot be larger than the cell itself in order for this to work properly. So now I'm going to highlight these eight cells, and again, go to formulas, create from selection, and in this case, left column is automatically chosen by Excel. I'm going to say OK. And if I highlight this cell B2, notice that's called grapes now. This one's called glasses. This one's called sun. And lastly, B5 is called heart. So I've named those cells, these four names, and those are the names that I've put into my drop-down list here. Next thing I'm going to do is, while this is selected, I'm going to go to Name Manager or the Define Names group and I'm going to select Define Name and I'm going to call this Wine Pick. And you can see my cell below, the reference catalog C2 is selected. And I'm going to insert here the indirect function. And I'm going to put that catalog C2 in parentheses. Now what the indirect function does is it converts a text string into that specific cell reference. So now I have a formula that when cell C2 says heart, it's going to look for that name heart and pull in that specific cell, which in this case contains the image that I want to display. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to click where I want the image to appear and I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to select object and from the list of objects under create new I'm going to select bitmap image and say OK. Now it'll pop up paint because that's the default function that I have for bitmaps. I'm just going to go ahead and close that and now while I have this selected notice up in the formula bar it says equals embed paint picture etc. I'm going to clear that and instead I'm going to put in here the name that I had created that the fine name wine pick. I'm going to scroll down to that hit tab and now hit enter. And now with my drop down, heart is selected. Notice the heart picture is visible. If I select grapes, grapes pops up. 
glasses, or sun. So I've been able to choose the cell here, B2, 3, 4, and 5, which are named grapes, glasses, sun, and heart. And by choosing that here, and with this picture, notice it says equals wine pick. So I've created a formula there that says use wine pick, and wine pick is the indirect formula that points to cell C2 here. So whatever is in cell C2 with the wine pick function selects that appropriate photo. And now when I make any one of my selections, that image will appear. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.